welcome students my name is mansoor bari and uh, this tutorial is for those who are new to microsoft sql server and that they are not good at writing sql queries so don't worry about that i'll show you a shortcut method to create a, a, a view by using multiple tables in microsoft sql server management studio so let's see the database first in microsoft sql server there are databases and select this database and you see there are some objects like tables and views so I'm going to create a view here so just expand it or you can just right click here and click new view so you see there is a, a dialog box uh, which is asking you to add table so first uh, of all I am going to add employee table and when I click add button and then close you see employee table appears here with all the columns alright and let's hide this uh, panel this is called uh, criteria panel and now uh, you see there is uh, automatically uh, a select statement so and there is no field selected yet so let me select uh, this uh, first name so you see the select statement is like select first name from employee employee is the table name and let's uh, run this uh, query and see what happens in the result pan you see all the first names are printed here let's say take another column and uh, say that DEPT ID you see when I click here the column name appears here and add it to the uh, previous uh, select statement and uh, when I run this another column is added here this is the department ID so what I want to do now uh, I want to show the department names here but the department names are in another table uh, the departments table and they, the department names are not in this table so what I will do I will add another table just right click here and add table and you see that uh, again the list of tables and find the department one here select this add and close it <coughs> you see that department table is added here and uh, what it has done for us that it is it has connected both of the tables depending on their uh, primary key and the foreign key the department ID the DEPT ID is primary here in the department table and the same uh, key is present in employee table uh, but I here it is a foreign key so let's arrange uh, them in a simple order so now the both tables are connected and uh, see the SQL statement that it has created an inner join for us automatically between the department and the employee table uh, on the basis of department ID column so uh, let's take department name from here click the checkbox and you see now this department name column add it to the query now run the query and you see department name column added here with all the departments and let's uh, do one more thing uh, in the employee uh, table there is another field DESIG ID this is actually a designation ID so I'll click it and uh, when I run it another column the, with the designation ID is here and of course I'm going to add the designation name here and which is in the separate table so I'll add that table the table name is designation here it is add it and uh, see 
the connection and join is automatically created for us uh, the same here desig ID is primary key in this designation table and it is foreign key in here desig ID so, and they both are connected together and another uh, inner join has been created for us so uh, what we are going to do now <coughs> just add this uh, designation which is our designation name and see what happens when we run the query so designation names appears here so uh, students uh, you can use this complex uh, query you can copy and paste it uh, into your web application or in any other application uh, as it is uh, and uh, you can also save this view and just uh, type the name of the view that uh, view of employees and when you click OK and you click here just close it and you see the view of employee here appears and you can also use this name in your application so alright uh, thanks for watching and I will use this view in one of my tutorials about uh, crystal reports so if you are interested in uh, learning crystal reports as well so you must watch the crystal report tutorial on my youtube channel goodbye